is that sort of anything can happen to the form. Uh, unlike paper, all you have to do is just gently pop, pop it back into shape. So, you know, you can really open it out and then it's really got a nice memory. Much more, uh, much more beautiful and uh, sort of flexible and uh, dynamic than, than paper. You know, you do that to a sheet of paper and you, you've, you've affected the memory of the paper. However, the one thing that's affecting the memory of, of the, the structural memory of the fabric is heat. And so while there's no heat being applied, uh, there's no really effectual structural change unless it's for a very long time. So these small, uh, insignificant uh, you know, def deformations uh, are, easy, are quickly recovered and are not, effect not affecting the form. Uh, this is an example of one of the, the moulds that I'm using. Uh, it's applying a, an old French technique whereby we, we make a sandwich uh, here's an example of one of the sandwiches. Uh, I'll do this and I'll put it in fast forward so you get an idea of how it goes together. Uh, now that's ready to uh, be placed into the oven and uh, I cook it at uh, this one, depending on the quality of the material, uh, I cook it between uh, 160 and 200 degrees Celsius and for 15 to 20 minutes depending on how they start to come out. Um, what I'm looking for is for them to be very flat when they, this is one that's come out of the mould. I really want the the creases to to be very 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 sharp. Uh, you can see a couple of you know points on there that sh which could be a bit nicer, but it's really a lovely lovely delicate springy elastic and totally deforming but obedient piece of material.